It's not going in. I don't care how much you try it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. What? Nothing. You saying something about going in? Yeah. <laughs> It's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Instagram and Twitter and Instagram and Twitter. From all juicy content. It's, so it's juicy. incredibly filled with pus. Uh, does that qualify as juice? It's body juice. I wouldn't call that a juice. It body has a couple That's of That's more like juices. a custard. We're getting off the rails. Oh! Uh, but today. Thank you for supposed to be Patreon follows for official Twitter account. Body today, custard. We are watching a. Uh, say this for me. Sajin Singh Rangroot. Rangroot. I think yeah. it's called Rangroot. Rangroot. It could, it could be the whole thing. But this is a Punjabi film. Cool. Uh, it's a pretty big one. Came out a uh, year ago. A uh, year ago ish. A year and a half ish ago ish. Uh, but I don't think we've reacted to too many, if any, Punjabi trailers. No. Uh, but this was supposed to be a pretty big one. Cool. Uh, with English subs, out. I yeah, assume. Yeah, English subs, of course. Uh, but uh, let's just get into it because I have no idea what it's about. Cool. Oh, I think it's about six. The six. The six. Yes, which we've learned the sick. proper pronunciation is sick. Sick. Yeah. Even though we've always we've said seek, seek, and everybody in America says calls seek. says seek. Well, right? wouldn't be the first time America was wrong. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty beautiful shot. I <laughs> ਅਕਬਰ <laughs> Stylistic wise, one of the prettiest trailers we've seen. No, Reminded me literally a lot of the, the the one that released not too long ago with that kind of Assassin's Creed guy, 
Hey, yeah, war. yeah, that one was but, very stylish. But you question. said it at the very outset in regard to, uh, you know, you, you immediately said it, Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. Look, which, like, guys, I mean, that that is cinematically, as far as the aesthetic value of what Steven Spielberg can create, um, that is about as good as you can get when you create something cinematically is what you see in some of the war depictions. Many people consider Saving Private Ryan to be, if not the, one of the greatest war oh. films ever made. Oh, yeah. Uh, that his recreation of D-Day, actually the stories of, of World War II vets who were there, it actually sent some back to therapy. Yeah. Because it triggered so much. One vet actually said the only thing missing was the smell for him. It, it was that. Th th That's an that sentence right there. Sincerely. To try to think of what it since smelled what it like. Smelled like. Uh, this, this looks as beautiful compelling and well done at every level as any trailer we've ever seen. This just looks spectacular. A Sikh serving in the British Indian Army is depu is uh, deported to Europe, or no, deputed. He's sent to Europe to fight in World War One. That's great because uh, m most of the World War stories we get are usually from World an War American's II. perspective. And a pr and a, it's World War Two, and it's an America perspective. Usually, or yeah. it's a Brit perspective. Right. But mostly, it's an American perspective because we're the heroes, of course. <laughs> right. Just, you know, you you Always. tell yourself from the your point of view, so that right. that makes sense. Until until they started telling films about Vietnam, thankfully, and then they started to, you know, Oliver Stone was really one of the first to throw up the realities of what was going on. I would I would love that was a joke, by the way. Yeah. For those of you who don't get sarcasm, the, the sarcasm. Uh, but uh, to see somebody else's perspective of a war, I think is very interesting. Especially since this is a true story, and they were still under British rule as well. Yes, so they that, were under that British rule. Dynamic. Exactly, and the um, the fact that we have a, a beginning understanding uh, of what it means to be sick, and like when he said, "You don't hit him on his turban." Yeah, we understand what that means now in a way we never would have understood. It is he is a Muda Punjabi. It is the same guy. Yeah, yeah. I could absolutely could so he, recognize that. He face. must actually be sick. 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 Either, yeah, that and at, least, at the very least he's Punjabi. Punjabi. Yeah. Okay. Uh, or or maybe not. I mean, it, it could just be he wanted to do this film because it was a great film and cast, and he he speaks multiple languages. And question, question, question. My ignorance. If you are sick, you never take it off. So if he's sick, every single role he has, he will have it on. Correct. I would venture. That would be my guess. I don't know that definitively. That's what I'm asking. That's the I would case. like to know uh, what is the case and how do they normally get Sikh actors to play Sikhs, or does it just? I mean, I know uh, well, Akshay Kumar. Akshay is not. is not. He's not. No. Uh, but do people that are Sikh is this guy Sikh? And is does he always play? And that's a great point. Somebody because as an actor, but you know, he, if he has a religious perspective, he has to wear it all the time. So right. each character has to fit. That, that would have to fit that. So I would, like to, I would like to know. Yeah, and I uh, obviously I don't think a Sikh would have a problem with a non-Sikh portraying them because I didn't hear any negativity at all about the fact that Akshay. In fact, all I heard from everyone was how right it was to cast someone like Akshay to portray mm -hmm. that and let it be a national known story that's portraying somebody to portray a big hero. Yeah. But yeah, I'd love to know that for a, an actor who is Sikh. I would assume they have every role they they've played. played. Yeah, because, because they can't. They're not going to take the terminal. It, that's what Correct. I would think. Correct. Mm -hmm. Let me know, please, because yeah. it's just my ignorance and my wanting to know. Yep. Um, but uh, the, so I think it's a very interesting story, and I love us that we have now known the history of Sikhs or six or I'm sorry, I still don't. I believe Sikh is, Sikh is singular. Is it Sikh when you say it plurally? I don't know. Or is it still Sikh with an S at the end and an I like six. that we know that they're like a warrior. Right. Because like, we had no idea that they were before, right. like if before this channel, we had no idea. We just thought no. it was a very peaceful religion. Exactly. That's all I ever thought about. Yep. Six. In fact, probably put them more into the jade category in terms of peaceful, eat you know vegetarian. Everybody gets along with each other, and I may be jadeism. I may even be ignorant about in that regard as well. But yeah. When we learn from that film with Akshay, if you, if the you, warrior if, heritage. If you tell us this is good, I will see this quickly. Quickly, quickly, because quickly. Because 220 for war film, that's actually pretty short. That's, yeah, that's for actually a a pretty uh, right around time. Quick. But uh, I would see this in a heartbeat just because it looks beautiful. Oh. The, the, the acting looks great outside of the Brit. It's, it's a true story. I want to know this story. The Brit made me mad right when he came on screen. Oh, of course. Uh, 
Do you guys even know how to use a gun? <laughs> no! <laughs> God, it makes me so upset. I want to know, are there... white actors. There's got to be... The first, the first British role we saw where there was a level of at least empathy and sympathy combined was in uh, Bangarasanti. Uh -huh. That guy who, as he was torturing the heroes, was journaling and realizing that these were different men and they, they broke any stereotype he had about them and he actually was finding himself admiring them. My question would be, are there films, whether they're a military film, that would be preferable for me, where there are, another one would be in Lagan, the, the, the girl, the English girl, she really, she obviously she fell in love with Amir Khan's character and had a care for his people. Mm -hmm. How many films do you have that portray a Brit as actually being an advocate and a hero and a friend to Indians? Because uh, for the most part, because that's the way history teaches it, is that they really haven't been friendly and friends. They, uh, they've been the, quite the opposite. They were very <laughs> friendly to the Indians, to yeah. say the, that, to to say say the understatement least. of the year. <laughs> oh, and even, and even uh, still, I, just, I would love to know, do you have any uh, well, Englishmen and any British people that are actually heroes of India? Probably not. There's got to be at least one who most people... Uh, there might be some... Obviously, there's some nice people, of course, uh, in that whole thing, but uh, usually, especially from the perspective, so they're telling it from the Indian's perspective, they're usually just going to heighten the Indian, or the they're not going to... like it's. It, I think it would be the same problem, like, let's say, like, um, in... Hollywood when you tell slavery stories and then there's always a white hero. Yeah A lot of people have a problem with that because you know, they're you're depicting this white when there's a bunch of uh, uh, Black people who were much more incremental and right so I think that's the thing It's like you would much more rather tell the story of oh, the people I, that were actually of course of was, course They would rather tell that so story. I don't, I don't know that I just I just don't know like I just don't know if there are uh, if there are actual historical I'm, figures I'm throughout sure India, a couple. yeah, but, but that would be considered heroes to India. I don't know that there'd be. In, uh, in we know, we know, it's not Winston Churchill. That's <laughs> we we know we know that. It's so funny that my vision of him has totally changed. Yeah, well, I knew before that. I didn't know. I didn't know any of the battle. I just learned what the American history. Oh no, no, no! Is that he's he's good. And he's one of the greatest people. Really? Yeah, ever. no, I, I, I didn't know about what he did in regard to India. Um, what I did know was things he did in World War II and how he and like General Patton did not like the relationship that was going on with Russia. Patton warned America and everybody else about don't partner with the Russians, um, be careful with that, and things that Churchill allowed in order to further Britain's interests. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was great for Britain. <laughs> <laughs> and, and in all honesty, we got to admit, the West, yeah, but uh, you know, well, we, we we turned a blind eye to a lot of stuff because it benefited us. Yeah, yeah, it's and, America, and, and we still do sometimes, yeah. don't we? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this film. I'm going back to the film. It looks amazing. Yeah. I hope it's as good as it looks. So uh, please, I'm hoping all the comments are. Yeah, the trailer was great. It was it was crap. Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>